Greek American culture has grown over the years as more and more Greeks come to America in hopes of finding a better life. According to the United States Census, as of 2010, there are over 1.5 million Americans from Greek descent living in the U.S. Since 2010, the number has grown due to Greeks being in debt with the Union, putting them in a financial crisis. The Greeks that migrated to the United States soon started making families of their own. This led to an increase in the Greek American population here in the U.S. Many of these first-generation Greek Americans have kept the Greek traditions that were passed down to them by generations before and are beginning to pass them down to their own children today. Vicky Zimagis was born in the United States. Her parents, Mark and Maria, were born and raised in Greece. Maria came to the U.S. in 1967 and Mark in 1969. Although they were living in America when Zimagis was born, they believed it was important that they raise her in a Greek household. I was brought up a typical Greek. My parents are um, immigrants. I was first generation American. So they, I was brought up with what they left the Greek idea with. That's, that's how our house was. Greek was definitely my first language as no one in the house spoke English. I learned English when I went to school, I was five. I can't say it was difficult, I don't recall. And I currently am bilingual, I speak both fluently. According to Pappas Post, Astoria, New York is one of the most Greek populated cities in the United States. Zimagas feels growing up in Astoria brought her closer to the Greek American culture. Although she is grateful for having these experiences, Zimagas says she always felt like something was missing. America can't, uh, can't come close to Greek culture. Greece is very different than America. What the cultures that we hold are the ones that are in the home that we hold, that we try to hold to our roots to. You're not gonna find it out. It's something that's in within your home, within you. The Greeks in Greece are very different than the Greeks here. The Greeks here are workers. They're movers and shakers. The Greeks in Greece, they're Europeans. They know how to live. We live very differently. So they, um, they see us differently. Even though I, I am Greek by nature, I'm still American. Although Zimagis misses the Greek culture in Greece, she finds comfort in the places she can visit in Astoria that help her feel closer to home. One of my favorite places in Astoria is St. Catherine's Church. I grew up in this church. My children grew up in this church because my daughter especially went to school there. It's a parochial school up until the third grade. They went to Sunday school there. That church holds ties for me. My grandmother took us there. It's just, I feel, I feel great when I'm there. I just, it's very peaceful. It's something to behold. I guess because it's part of where we were when we grew up. And Astoria holds this, a lot of places in Astoria hold this for me. When we go to Mediterranean or Titan, or, and they have these Greek products that you just can't find anywhere, like frappe and feta cheese, and <laughs> those dang almonds that are put to die for. These are the places that you go to in Astoria that you kind of feel you walk in and it smells like, oh, I'm like at the supermarket in Greece. And it's funny that you get that here in Astoria. It's something, it's something to behold. With two children of her own, Zimagis tries to hold on to as many Greek traditions as she can, especially those she holds near to her heart. I try to hold fast for Lent. Um, we definitely go to church when we can, especially in the High Holy Days. And there's even now a day that goes on, I want to say this Sunday, the Sunday of Orthodoxy, where we, we take our icons to church and it's something special. I, I try with our foods. I think that's part of, that's a big thing. Um, there's certain things that you can only eat in Greece. And if you get a little tidbit here, it's something special. There's not really one thing specific that I can say I hold. It's just, it's just, I guess, the whole idea of what I had when I was growing up. I tried to give in my house so that we have it continuing. Zemakis tries to visit Greece almost every year, and it is something she looks forward to each and every time she goes. I try to go. I, I feel like it's my vitamin when I go there. The air is different. There is salt in the air from the from the sea the sun is warm it's just beautiful the water is crystal clear 
everything is is great because there's no there's no pressure when you leave here that we're working like animals and we go there and the pressure is off and you're there truly to vacation and you're going to see people that you haven't seen in years or maybe somebody you only see once a year it's a different it's a, just a different life everything tastes better it's something else and if i could go twice a year i do and if i can go twice every 20 years i do i try to go whenever we can the magus tries her best to instill the greek heritage that she grew up knowing into both of her children but she does fear that they may not be getting as much greek culture as she hoped they would i have two children 11 and 13 and i try to raise them greek although being that they're second generation it gets harder and harder because things slip away i even though i am greek i am also very much american so we try to move forward and hold what we can and give them what we can in terms of the culture they see a lot when they go to greece in terms of culture but um it's hard to keep them with every little thing that I was raised with as they are now second generation. Things are gonna get lost. We try to provide as much as we can with what we've grown accustomed to, the Greek American culture, not straight Greek anymore. It's like Greeklish. Unlike Zmagis, Athena Zotos was born in Thessaloniki, Greece. She moved to America with her sister and mother in 1999. I am from the second largest city in Greece. It's called Thessaloniki, it's up in the north. Um, I had a pretty, I would say typical um, 20 years ago childhood. So there was a lot of, um, there were no cell phones, no iPads, no iPhones, uh, pretty much no internet, I guess. Um, it was a lot of, playing outside, especially in the summertime. Um, just typical going to school, activities, big Greek family, so we all got together. I moved in 99. I was um, 17 years old. And I guess at the time I didn't really want to come here. Um, unfortunately, my father had passed away the year before. Um, so it was just my mother, my sister and I, and um, we have a lot of family in this country. So um, my mother thought it would be a better opportunity for us um, future wise um, to, to come here. Um, so I guess at the time I was, um, I took it as I was forced to come here. Um, so that was kind of how I I got here. So both my, actually my parents met in this country. So they were both, um, they were they were born and raised in Greece, but they both came for college here and they met here. And my father always wanted us to go to college here. So he wanted us to have um, kind of that, that education in this country. So he kind of always was thinking that when we were at at an age where we would be going to college, we would be coming here, so that was always in the back of his mind. Zotos considers Greek to be her first language as that is what she grew up speaking, but it would be through unconventional means that she would learn English at such a young age. So the, I would say the vast majority of the kids in Greece, especially if you live in a city like I do, um, start learning English, I would say maybe around 10 years, I think we're like around third grade or so. Um, you do you do, do some English in school, but then most of us kind of pay for um, outside of school, like um, uh, lessons. Um, so I always, and I, in fact, I, I always liked the language. When I was in Greece, I wanted to come here and be an English teacher. So I loved writing essays and um, I liked reading in, in, in English. And I remember my father who wanted to encourage us to, to learn the language when we would watch a, a, an American movie on TV, he would put a napkin to cover the subtitles to force us to hear and he would kind of explain it to us. So, I think I didn't really struggle with the language. After living in America for 19 years, Sotos looks forward to the times that she can return to her home country. But it is when she visits that she realizes her Greek friends and family have misunderstandings when it comes to Greek American culture. You know, Greek American culture, I, 
I think what they know is um, basically from every one of us that kind of goes to Greece every summer, right? So, because um, I would say we tend to go back there much more often than they would come here. Um, so for example, you know, I go back every year and you know, my best friend has come here twice to visit me, right? So I would say but they know what we bring when we go down. And I don't necessarily think that's completely accurate because I, and I, it's probably deeper than this conversation right here. But I think, um, you know, we go on vacation. So you're, you go on vacation and they're living their regular life, right? So when I, my vacation mode is in my everyday mode, right? So I'm here, I, I work, I have the house, I have all these responsibilities. When I go to Greece, I don't, I don't have that, right? So I'm, I'm, maybe I'm spending more money than I normally would here, or so. And I think a lot of people kind of see that part of you because they only see that vacation part of you. Although Zotos, her husband Foti, and their two children, Michael and Dimitri, have started their lives in America, she often thinks about moving back to Greece. It's always an option for me in my head. Uh, I, I've always said that I would like my kids to go to a, like grade school and high school in Greece and come back here for college. Uh, will we do that? I don't know. We have a life here, you know, we have a house here. We have family and friends here, but we, more, more so me, um, I also have a big family and friends uh, network in Greece as well. And it's even though I've been here for, you know, half my life, right? And half my life there, I'm still pretty close to the people there. So it's not like I've left that part behind. After having two children, Michael, who is two years old, and Dimitri, who is seven months, Zotas feels it is very important that she raises her children with the same Greek beliefs that she also had growing up. I know it's silly, right? But, and I know it's likely going to happen, but I, I want my son to grow up and, and speak Greek the way I do, right? So I don't want him to have an accent when he speaks Greek. I think it's gonna devastate me. Um, I want him to, I want him to want to go to Greece every year and I want him to value the culture and, and the history. Um, but I, I, I equally want him to be as proud of his American side, right? Because there's a lot there to be proud too. Um, but it's the Greek that I miss, you know? It's, it's, I, I, and I feel like if I were in Greece, it'd be the opposite. I feel like if I were in Greece, I, we'd be speaking to him in English because I, I would feel like that's what he would need more, more he would need more help with. Because I feel like, you know, here he's going to go to school, he's going to learn English, like that's inevitable. It's the Greek that I need to make sure that stays with him. Although Zotos tried to keep the Greek traditions alive, she feels that Greek culture isn't as prominent in America as it once was. I would say that it, it, it's, it's sort of um, fading a little bit, right? And I, and I think that's normal. I think the further away you get from the first generation, um, I think it's, it's safe to assume that even if you try to kind of um, you know, keep your, your circle and your, your traditions and your customs and everything. I think it's safe to say that some of that is, is going to fade away. But at the same time, I think the Greek Americans that I, that I know, um, tend to be well, proud of their Greek side as well. So they tend to also, you know, stick around and also support, you know, events that happen that you know, the church is doing or, um, you know, Greek concerts or going to Greek coffee places and Greek restaurants. So, so I do think there's an element of it fading away, um, but I don't think it's, it's kind of be like a complete, you know, assimilation, I guess. Zotos finds joy knowing that there are still many Greek places to visit in her neighborhood. 
I, I mean, there's, there's tons of, of Greek restaurants, both in Astoria and in the city. And uh, there's tons of, of Greek coffee places in, um, in Astoria. So I don't want to necessarily name, name a few. Um, but I would say what I, what I, what I like in general is that I like the whole, um, taverna feel, right? So I like, because a lot of our gatherings center on food, right? So I like that all sitting around in a table, hopefully outside, um, you know, picking at all the, you know, 100 different plates on the table and just um, talking and discussing and sometimes arguing and disagreeing. Um, I think that's kind of at the heart of a lot of our gatherings as a culture um, and I, I think we really do enjoy that and I, so I think I would say anytime where even in a house where we can a bunch of us just get together around food and just have a conversation I think um, is where is is what I would like. Sotos does love visiting her favorite Greek restaurants but the one thing she always looks forward to the most is attending the Greek parade held on Fifth Avenue in New York. I would say just in general, a lot of our traditions are, are tied to our kind of our religion and our kind of our religious events almost, right? So, um, you know, Christmas is also big for us. So we all kind of get together um, on, on Christmas day. Um, though my mom still likes to um, kind of keep it the Greek way. So we uh, we here kind of open up our gifts on January 1st versus Christmas Day. So we kind of do both now. So we do the Christmas Day with everybody else and in our house kind of do just January 1st. Um, so we, we cut the Vasilopita, right? So we have the, um, let's call it like a cake, I guess, um, with like a lucky coin in there. We cut it and whoever gets the coin has a lucky year. So we do that. Um, you know, Easter is also pretty big for us. You know, we have a typical um, Greek Easter always at my aunt's house. We have the lamb on the, you know, spit and it's like 50 of us and it's loud and there's music and there's dancing. Um, you know, other, other, you know, the Cabadabuso is also a big holiday for which I try to be in Greece, but when I'm not, you know, again, it's a, um, sort of an opportunity again to get together um i'm just trying to think i mean here we we, we have um carnavali in um uh, in, in in greece which we don't have here but we get dressed up for halloween here so i would say kind of those are the major kind of major ones the the parade is very different here and in greece i think it's an important event right we close down fifth avenue and we all get together you know i and i you know it's funny you don't think about how important these things are to you until you have kids right because i can tell you how i've been here since you know over 16 17 years now 18 i guess um i would say i've not gone to the parade more times than i've gone to the parade but with my son i went to the parade you know because i want him to uh, you know, I want him to, to be there. I want him to, you know, raise his little flag and be all happy. And I want to have pictures of that. So I think, uh, you know, I want to instill that, you know, that in him. So I, I definitely think it's something that um, we need to continue doing. I think it's a, it's a good way to um, also show Greece to the world, right? So we're here. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, it's a great thing and I think we need to kind of do more of it, I guess. Steve Xenia is also of Greek heritage. He was born in Nicaria, Greece until he moved to America in the late sixties. I came to America in 1967 and met my wife. I wanted to have a better life and become a citizen. I knew I wanted to stay here when I met my wife and when I saw what kind of life I could have here especially for my future children. Xenia had a very different childhood and began working at a very young age. I was born in 1943 in Nicaria. My mother gave birth to me in my house. I went to school and played in the mountains. Life was very simple. I did a lot of helping around the house. I started working at 16 on the ship. 
That was normal. You worked on the ship and sent your money back to your parents to live. Xenia has two children, Harry and Sula, and three grandchildren, Christina, Crystal, and Christopher, that he raised to be very proud of their Greek roots. Being from Greece, I wanted my children to hold somewhat of the same lifestyle that I held. I spoke to them in Greek when they were young, so they are fluent now. I didn't want the Greek side of them to die because I'm very proud of being Greek. My grandchildren are what is keeping the Greek culture in this family alive. I hope they raise their children Greek as well, so the Greek within them never dies. I like my children to see how my life was and what I came from. It is clear that Xenia is very proud of his Greek heritage, and he enjoys knowing that he could bring his family back to Greece to reunite with all of their Greek relatives. I go to Greece every summer to see my family. I built a new house in Ikaria in the 80s for my family to come back to. If they don't come back to Greece, then the house is for nothing. I love to see my grandchildren at the beaches where I would swim as a child. It is very nice to have my whole family together. In America, there is only 8 of us. In Greece, there are 20 to 30 of us. Greek traditions are also very important to Xenia as he holds all the traditional Greek holidays close to heart. Greek traditions are very important in America. We celebrate Ohi Day, which is the day we send note to the Turkish people for invading our land. We have Greek Independence Day with the big parade. We have Vesilopita on New Year's Day, where we cut a big piece of bread for the new year with a coin in it. You cut a piece for everybody in the family. Whoever has the piece of bread with the coin in it has good luck for the whole year. Easter is a very big holiday in Greece. We celebrate the holy holidays very highly. Now living in America for over 50 years, Xenia has become a proud American and gives thanks to America for opportunities he wouldn't have had in Greece. I don't know. If I move back to Greece, I will miss my family. My family is my life now, and America is my home. I do not think I'll ever move back there, but go very often and for a very long time. Although Xenia, Zamagas, and Zotos all have different stories to tell, one thing is certain. They are all very proud to be Greek-American, and it is through them and future generations to come that Greek culture will continue to grow here in America.